I think we all know that this is quite a moving ceremony today. It's a day of miracles. This is going to be an intimate time for them as they reflect about how they got here. And more importantly, how God got them here. And they invite you today to share in that moment with them. It's a truly an honor to be Tim's best man and a privilege to be his older brother. I thank you to Heavenly Father for us all to be able to gather here for Tim and this uh, huge covenant. I pray that this is the first step in a new and dynamic direction for him. And I pray for everything that um, his life's now going to bring just to be positive. You're so beautiful, inside and out and you have radiated that forever. You have been a faithful sister and friend. I am thankful for the woman that you are, a woman of godly character that I know will make a wonderful wife. So when I think of how difficult a marriage can be at times, even with God's mercy, grace, and patience on your side, I know that you two will fight and love to make this successful. I am so overjoyed to have my brother back after seven years. And I'm grateful that he's found someone to share his life with. Truly just so joyful and grateful to be here. We are just so thankful that you have brought us to this place. I thank you for her, Lord. I thank you for her love and just how good she has been to me, Lord. Her perseverance and just how beautiful she is inside and out. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. May would be 11 years for Liv and I. And it's been a long, long, hard at times, but an amazing relationship. But we have so many people here to thank for that. Almost every single person here has supported us held us together, and really wouldn't be standing here after these seven years if it wasn't for those families, friends, partners, everyone here who has held us up through this time. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> My beautiful little girl. What takes precedence now, they've lived separate lives, but what takes precedence is the married life. And I've often told couples there are three entities in the marriage. It's you, it's you, but it's the marriage. You two now become secondary to the marriage union. Lord, we just pray that you would go before us, that you would just Use this time to celebrate your goodness and your faithfulness, Lord, that you would be honored and glorified today, Lord, and that you would just pour out your best for Olivia, Lord, that I would be a man who can love and guide her how I'm supposed to, Lord. I live, take you, Tim. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. <laughs> From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And there too. And there too. I give you. I give you. My faithful promise. My faithful promise. <laughs> Ten years, we have witnessed you take such good care of Liv.
You have been like a brother to us from day one. Liv, you look absolutely beautiful tonight, and I've never seen Tim love anyone more as much as he loves you. Up until this moment, the covering for them has been their parents. A covering is that which protects and shields us. And they've been that protection and shield. In God's order, now Tim is her covering, and he looks to Jesus, according to the New Testament, as his covering. They are man and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. God bless the both of you. Tim, you may kiss your bride. and say thank you. We love you. Everyone here, we appreciate you celebrating this day with us after all this time. The best is yet to come. <laughs>